Hi guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com and today I'm going to show you how to start using our framework. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we're going to do is to visit our website uh, www.mdbootstrap.com. Uh, once we get there, let's download the latest package by clicking the download button. Uh, and then let's move to the getting started section where we can find a link to five minute quick start and let's follow this guide to uh, step by step to show you uh, how to start developing your first website with MDB so we already did the first step now let's unzip the package uh, to one of the folders so I have just created the folder before I call it getting started and I'm gonna unzip all the files into the directory. Once we have that, you will notice that there is one index.html file included in it. So let's open it. Uh, and there is not much what, what you're actually gonna see because the file is kind of empty. So let's have a look what is in it. Now, as you can see, within the head section we have some style sheet includes so those are core bootstrap files uh, as well as mdb and some custom style css um, there is also uh, material design icons and font awesome icons in, uh, uh, included in a, in a header section uh, at the bottom we can see the script section so this is the place where we are loading the javascript into our file uh, however um, those are the libraries which you can see um, so if you want to see something on your website which you should type your code in between the body section so the opening body tag and this script section so let's just put here some heading and say hello world let's save it and let's refresh our first website so we can see that the the hello world was printed uh well that isn't that sexy so let's do something else mm, instead of typing the code uh, i'm gonna copy i'm gonna copy uh, one of the our components so this is step number three uh, I'm copying the entire component from this MDB quick start web page. I'm going to replace our heading with this code. I'm going to save it. Let's refresh our website and see what's going to happen. And here we have one of our components, which is card with this Google wave effect. Right. So as it is as simple as it. And now that's mostly it. Uh, for the quick start uh, what you can do now uh, you can either follow our tutorials uh, which I strongly encourage you to do so um, or there are plenty of them so I think uh, well regardless of level which you are at you will definitely find something for yourself uh, or if you don't want to follow them uh, you can just browse our components uh, and there are plenty of them uh, and just try to use them so let's just quickly try to use uh, for example let's go to panels and let's find something which is interesting for us uh, like this one so what you have to do the only thing you have to do is just copy the code and place it somewhere in your code so we have a, we have a div one div over here i'm going to create another one and i'm going to paste my code into the new div refresh the website and here it is our new collapsible panel now if you don't know what i just did uh, what does this call slash md slash uh, dash sorry six actually mean don't worry just follow our tutorials and you'll understand everything okay guys that's it for now just uh, don't follow to don't forget to follow us on the youtube or other social media uh, so that you don't miss any update about new components or tutorials thanks for watching
and bye.